Hello everyone, this is A Stocky here. Welcome to episode 23 of the HeroCraft pack. Uh, hopefully you can hear me just fine this time. I'm getting some really good sound, so I'm just going to go to sleep, wake up, and when I wake up, I'm going to pause the video, check to make sure the recording worked, and I'll be back with you all in a second. Back soon. Awesome. We're off to a good start. So, to continue doing things, we're going to need more cobble. Lots and lots more cobble. Let's throw that in there, that in there. Throw that in there, perfect. So in the last episode, I kind of got things a bit set up over here. Now what I'm hoping for is if I come over here, I will have lots of saplings. Why does wheat keep ending up in there? That is not where wheat is supposed to go. Hmm. Um. Saplings. Okay, 56 saplings. So I, I do have plenty. And I've got a bit of mulch anyway, not a huge amount. But what I want to do in this episode is I want to make a, yeah, I'm sure it's called a fermenter. There we go. So I'm going to need lots and lots and lots of bronze and glass. So we have none of that in there. So it's going to be time to use my door. Okay, so little bag of tricks. Going to need copper. Any form of copper will work. Uh, tin. Actually, I have lots of tin, so I'll make sure I use that. And copper, I have plenty of copper as well. Let's just, I was going to, you know, mass produce some stuff, but let's just not worry about that for the moment. Um, 16 is not going to be enough, but it's going to be enough for a few moments anyway. While well, we come over here and we, whoa, whoa. Lots of charcoal. Let's just put that away for now. Come in here, we're going to want some more tin. So it's almost a waste of charcoal because you just spend so much charcoal trying to make any tin at all. But there we go. Um, going to aim for somewhere near a stack. So how many have we got there? 64. Perfect. Just over a stack there. And then we do the same thing with copper. Copper is going to make it much faster though. And then once I've got a few of these together, I'm going to go throw these over in my sorting system. One stack of copper. Can't believe how much charcoal I made while I walked away. I've totally forgotten about it. Just need a couple of these. Just a couple. Bam. Um. So many stacks. Uh, what did I actually need though? Don't really need any of this stuff at the moment. So let's just take diamonds. Because diamonds really are a good way to condense things when you have too many. And back we go. So we want to come back over here. We want to do the same thing we've pretty much done with everything else and go copper, copper, copper. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Uh, tin, tin, tin. And I might use my little crafting table just here. Make myself another, another stack of bronze. Did I put bronze in? Yes, I did. So now let's just throw all the copper in there, all the tin in there. Then we'll get out the rest of our copper and bronze and tin. Throw that all in there as well. well I think that tin is not going to go anywhere, so we need to put another tin. And did I throw any of that flash copper? No, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to need one of those as well, because I don't think I'm going to have too much of that kind of stuff. But just in case that I do... Okay, so for this machine I needed a sturdy machine. 
I also needed stone gears. Now I could make stone gears, except I already have uh, wooden gears, so it'd be kind of a bit of a waste to start using my crafting machine to do it. Need four of them. And then after those four, I'm pretty sure I can make straight into bronze gears. Perfect. So I need glass now. Glass is the last thing I'm missing. Glass is of course a block, so it's going to be in my block chest. So that is not where that goes. These go like this in the center, I'm sure. Gears in the corner. Sturdy machine in the center. That makes me a fermenter. I'm going to I was going to place my fermenter up there with my other machines, but I'm actually thinking now that I'm going to put it over here a little bit. Mm because it's going to have to be connected to my logistics pipe network. I'm going to put it just going to make plenty of room around it. Let's throw a we don't want provider pipes, do we? We want like supply uh, it'll just stick there. That's going to be perfect. For now, we'll throw a little steam engine next to it because it's going to need power. Steam engine is going to need a lever. And a lever is going to need that. Excellent. I have heaps of charcoal in my little bag. Let's throw the charcoal in there. Perfect. So we come back over here. Well, I'm glad I didn't destroy that then. So in here we're going to need water. So water is the first thing we're going to need. And being in a snow biome, water is going to be a pain. So my solution is going to be just here. going to be perfect. Now where are my buckets? I'm going to need to use my two buckets and my little infinite spring over here. And I'm going to need to create some water and I'm going to need to work out some way to cover that water up. Uh, I hate running on ice. really hoping that wouldn't happen just yet. Because what I'm going to need to do now is just dirt this whole thing in to make sure it doesn't freeze again. So... Thinking that's going to be good enough. A little cover on there just to keep my well working the way that it should. And... Okay, so now I'm going to need to build a pump. So to build a pump, I'm going to need a mining well. Actually, what am I doing? I'm going to need to stay over here, aren't I? So I need a mining well. To build a mining well, I need iron and an iron gear. So let's take my little wrench here and say, please give me six iron and one iron gear and one piece of redstone and then three more pieces of iron. So now I should have everything that I need. So we put our iron gear where I'm sure I requested an iron gear. One, iron gear. Why is that not working? Hello? Hello, system? Hmm. Something odd's happening here now. Iron gear, one of. Request. Request says successful. 
Which one of you is making iron gears? Um, why is it... Why, why am I not making stone gears? Have I... Yeah, I have trained it to make wooden gears. There's something going screwy here. It doesn't seem to be extracting things correctly. Hmm. Think I'm going to need to have a look at this to work out what I'm doing wrong. Um. But for now, anyway, we'll just go ahead with this. Um. Totally carrying snowballs again. Where are those sticks? Um. Maybe it's because. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's it's thinking it's calling sticks, but it's not. So let's just make 30 sticks. It could be because I'm storing sticks in that container. That's the reason why it's not working. I guess I won't know for sure until I try again. And it's night time. I want to get this done though, so let's just go... Where's my iron? There we are. One of you, one of you, and one of you. Okay, mining well recipe. Okay, perfect. Easy to mistake. So I'm going to need to make a tank. Beautiful, a tank. Then we need a mining well. That makes a pump. And now it looks as though we need to sleep for the night. So back down we go, and sleep, sleep, okay you've seen me make those little, I guess, automatic water generation systems quite regularly, but I just want to quickly test out, I want to make uh, two redstone engines I think, so I need four of those, and we need two of those. Now we're making redstone engines, so we're going to need six of those. And actually, I've probably already got glass, so that should be fine. So let's see how we went. We need, need those and those go there. Our two pistons. Why did two pistons not come out? Okay, let's try this again. We go. Piston, two of, request. Missing six wooden planks. We have so much wood in there. It seems to be getting itself stuck for some reason. See, I told it just here that if you want to make planks, use that. I think the fact that I'm storing planks in here is causing my system confusion. And I can't work out why it is, it's just... So I'm going to have to take all my sticks out. I'm going to have to take all my planks out. Um, bread. Seeds. Okay, let's try this again now. Where's my little wrenching going? Okay, so we want Pistons, two of. Missing six wooden planks. So what kind of planks did I use to make pistons? That's what I've done wrong. Wrong kind of planks. Darn Minecraft and its way of doing things. Let's try this again now and see if this will work. Pistons, two of. No, it won't because it sees those as things that it can't use but now if I say give me two okay now this is just weird ah oh, I didn't import the recipe um, that one okay this is annoying there we go 
Now, baby, you're mine. Request successful. Piston, 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 piston. Come on. Okay. Something is broken. We're one plank short. And not enough cobble either. Something's gone really screwy with this automatic crafting system. I think I'm going to have to knock all the pieces off and then restart. Um, what did I pick two up? No, just the one, yeah. Something has gone really, really screwy. Excuse me? Okay, sorry about that, I'm back now. Um, I only have one piston, so let's go back to here. So the requesting system is still working, but for some reason the delivery system isn't working right. I think it's got something to do with the fact that these stacks only have one in each of them. So I'm thinking for now I might compress these stacks up a bit and see if that makes a difference at all. <clears throat> so I need another piston. Let's try one. Request. Request successful. No. Something is going wrong and it's not pulling the piston out. This time I missed a piece of redstone. Ah. Red... What the heck happened there? Okay, I know exactly what's going wrong now. It's most unfortunate. I've broken my entire system. Um, I am going to fix everything up, and then I will come back in a moment. Back soon. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I worked out what was happening. Because these crafting logistics pipes were touching up against the chest, it didn't know whether it needed to go into the chest or the crafting table, so some of the ingredients weren't making it to where they should. So, it was causing me a problem. Now, I believe everything is green and good, so let's try again. How many pistons do I have? Two. Let's make a third. Piston, make one. Request. Piston. Beautiful. Now I just need to get my crafting table out. And I need some gears. I know I had gears to start with, but I don't know where they went. Um, need six gears. Need three pieces of glass. Um, request all three of those. Request three of those. Request another three of those. And now we should be in a good position. So there's my engines. So now I have my pump, I have my engines. Wow, I have not a single speck of pipe waterproofing. Not a single speck anywhere. Um, please somewhere have a cactus. No cactus. I have just... Cactus. Awesome. That is now my favourite thing. <laughs> I just need one piece of pipe waterproofing and then I'm going to mass produce it. Come on, just one. Excellent. All I needed, just the one. Whoa. Diamond's gone crazy. Okay, so we need some pipes. Don't know how many yet, so let's get this system mostly set up and then we'll work out how many we need. So for starters, we need to place our pump. 
So we'll place our pump. Man, look how quickly that froze. That's just like froze instantly. So we need our three redstone engines. So we're going to place one there, one there, and one there. Now I'm going to cover that back up like so. Now I'm going to need three levers. I'm going to keep this on me at all times, I think, because it's just so much easier. That was not the button I clicked. Beautiful. Uh oh. Evil sound. I wonder sometimes if these super zombies have better pathfinding. Brain! Yay, I can now make a brain in a jar. This is going to be my first brain in a jar. I'm going to have enough brains to make. That's cool. Sleepy time. Back we go. Okay, so I needed three sticks and three of those to make my levers. So I need one, two. Um, that work? Yep, that's going to work. So now I need my about five pieces of pipe waterproofing I think is going to be plenty. I don't even think I'm going to need that many, but it's it never hurts to have a couple. So now we want to go one, two, three. Now you guys should start pumping and you should make the water come out. There we go, look at that. That's going to hopefully start filling this up with water. Excellent. Now I need a provider pipe. No, supplier pipe. Provider? Provi must be a supplier. Gonna have to... make it just like that. So I'm gonna put this here. Tell it partial requests, yes. Items to keep stock. It's going to need to keep um, 10 of those and 10 of those. Nice. Okay, so you want to keep 10 and 10. Obviously it's not attached to the network at the moment, so it's not going to do anything. If I put that in there, and then hopefully if I put that in there, you'll see that this will start to work. This is the new setup. It should start to produce biofuel as soon as it has power. And power is going to take coal. Whoop. Gotta stop whacking things with things that don't need whacking. Okay, so it's now got power. So power should make this all work and then should make this start to produce biomass. And then I should be able to produce a biomass engine. But I do need to connect this to my network. means I'm going to need my very last basic logistics pipe to make the network connection. And then there we go. So what should happen is you see the, the last sapling and the piece of, there we go, biomass. So um, I now basically have a setup that will produce a basic continuous supply of biomass 
and I'm the very next thing I'm going to do now is create some biofuel engines so that's sorry biogas engines so that's going to need bronze and bronze gears so I'm going to start with one I'm just going to start with one of them so I'm going to need a stone gear sorry two stone gears so request that I'm going to need eight pieces of bronze plus I'm going to need another three pieces of bronze for the top of the engine one piece of glass and one piston beautiful so piston no not piston yet we need to make our bronze gears first so two bronze gears then a piston then a glass and then three of those makes one biogas engine um, now I'm not sure if this is going to pump out of itself or if I'm going to need to supply something to help pump it out but I'm going to take that place that just there and then once this has some biogas in it there we go sorry I keep calling it biogas once it has some biomass in it now all it needs is some heat and it will start to work and then I intend to do a little bit of a pipe around to keep that constantly filled just to get me going this is of course the the beginning of something that's going to be hopefully much better um, here yep that's where I want to be just excuse me for a second okay so I've just put the bucket of lava in and you can see on the left here there's a, a heating up level which shows that the biogas engine is hot enough to operate and now it just pumps away and it just does its thing and as long as you keep fuel in it or and, and fuel in this case is the biomass as long as you keep that in there it will just keep going happily and it will never use any more lava what will happen though is once the operating temperature starts to drop it'll have to use lava to keep itself at the point where it's nice and hot but this engine now is producing five megajoules per tick so it's actually producing as much power as a combustion engine the only thing is it uses fuel something like five times as fast as a combustion engine would so it uses quite a lot of fuel but if you're producing effectively a limitless amount of fuel then that's not a really big deal and so it's these engines here that I intend to produce uh, four or five of them and then use some power teleport pipes to basically get myself set up with a power production setup so so I'm going to need to produce more and more and more of these and hopefully that won't be too far away in, into the future but I am going to need to make some more redstone engines to start with let's put my buckets back in my bag and produce myself some more redstone engines so I can at least get something going on with getting the power to the places and, and I guess getting the gas to the places where I need it to be um, might make one more glass request I'm starting to run a little bit low on that so I'm gonna have to work out how I do that and how I compensate for that as well I'm gonna need three planks two wooden gears one piston and three. oh what just happened then that was crazy crazy not something that I was intending to do there's that and that and those one redstone engine now hopefully what I kinda wanna do is work out some way to use the one redstone engine to power the two of them think I might be able to do this if I no particularly because I need a wooden waterproof pipe to extract it so we need 
two pieces of wood and one piece of glass and then hopefully I've still got some of that cactus green yes I do oh I've already got wooden transport pipes let's not make more of these than we need to why are you seems to be some so I guess some particular rules about how these things work but um, redstone engine gonna need to make another lever uh, stone followed by that give myself a lever now what this will do is this will just pump and it will come out and it will start to form up I can just place this tank here and now what will happen is half of it will go into the tank and half of it will go into this engine and you can see just how quickly this thing is producing um, I'm going to need way way more of this stuff um, not sure how high I can go with that let's go like this you just never know when you're gonna need tanks what I'm kinda hoping is that I can just go a bit crazy here I'm hoping that that won't fill itself up too quickly and that that will be a wow that's really a lot that it's making not a problem I think I'm gonna have to teach it how to make engines too because I'm kinda bored of having to make engines myself board 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 And I think I'm also going to have to move this. Um, that's not going to be enough EMC for that. What about if I swap that with some gold nuggets? Because basically I, I want to move this setup now and I'm going to move it down that way. Wow, that's really tall. Once this is finished turning all that glass into something better than glass, I'm going to take this, I'm going to move it down there, down there, and I'm going to have it set up somewhere just here. I'm going to basically, this is going to be just a big long double row that's going to keep extending. as long as that keeps extending itself put you and you and you and you items we want cactus green and, and you and I think that should be a new and you and you I think that should be just about everything now wow look at that that thing is totally chock full and this thing here is filling itself up nicely so I think we're doing quite well and we have lots of saplings this thing here is keeping itself stocked at the right level there we go there was the tenth one come through definitely got lots of water coming in so my next thing I'm going to do is, oh yeah, whoops, uh, I think just here is probably going to be a good spot. Can I put that, put that on top, and I don't want it to be connected to my logistics network, but I want it to be right next to my logistics network just to make it easy for me. 
so I'm going to put it just here. And what am I going to make? First thing I'm going to make is bronze. So I don't have very much bronze, so we'll take a stack of you and a half a stack of that. Now we have lots. Put that back in. Put that all in there as well. And then over here, what did I want? I wanted to make... Uh, for lack of anything better to do, I'm just going to replicate diamonds. Because diamonds are pretty easy. I mean, they take forever to actually do anything. I just like having a... Uh, no sticks, hey? Should have sticks. There we go. I can't believe how much wheat is there. And this is going to be, I guess, my overflow chest that I'm just going to every now and then just chuck stuff in. Are you getting seeds? You are getting seeds, okay. Ah, oh, you're just not replanting because you don't have any power because you are just not up to the task of powering that. Okay, so it's definitely time now to make some good things. So the first good thing I'm going to need to make is three biogas engines. And we need three pieces of glass. And then I'm going to need a heap of bronze, like a literal heap of bronze. Um, I just made six gears, so that's 24. What just happened then? Um, I think I might have just turned some dirt into some sand. In fact, I'm almost 100% sure that's what I just did. And that is nothing like what I intended to do when I started out. So let's try this again and make sure we don't do that another time. I don't like the idea of accidentally destroying my water or turning my, or putting myself into a hole that I shouldn't be in. Um, ah yes, crafting table. So we want lots of bronze gears. And we want lots of bronze. Although I don't believe I have enough. Maybe I do. Yes, I got too much. Never mind. Here we go, we'll put a piece of glass in. Let's keep my last diamond. Put that back in there. We want glass, glass, glass. And glass. Okay, so over here we come. Um, I want it to be fairly close. I'm thinking just here is going to be good. Now I need wooden power pipes. Everything seems to be working much better since I've turned things around like that, so that's a good thing. So now, using my wrench, I should be able to turn these machines around, make them face in the direction that I want to. Excellent. Then I need to build some more levers. I already have the stones that I need. I'm just going to need two sticks.
and I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to do this because I don't want it to kind of double itself back into the tank. Clear a bit of room. Okay, now where is my waterproofing? Cactus green, please. I'm trying to, I guess you would say, I'm trying to get this all sorted prior to the point where I actually start to pump it because I'm concerned that if I don't do this right that I'm going to end up wasting a whole lot of my biomass. So we have wooden waterproof pipe coming off and then we want one, so I'm going to need one more. And now once I build this redstone engine here, which should darn it. I was hoping that redstone engine would back onto something else that already had power. Guess I'm gonna have to put it here, that'll be fine. Okay, so we want redstone engine, which is two wooden gears, one piston, three planks, one piece of glass. I'm gonna need a stick as well. Uh, start by making my lever if I can I, I'm definitely thinking that in some of my other let's plays I totally should have done this auto crafting system because I haven't really done auto crafting systems very much before because I've always thought it doesn't really save you that much time but now just watching how quickly this is flying through I'm thinking yes this does indeed save you a heck of a lot of time so hopefully now we should have liquid flowing to all of these, filling them up. And now I'm just going to need three buckets of lava to get them started. Obviously I only have two buckets, so th getting three buckets of lava is going to take two trips. But I also don't have anything to power yet, so that is going to mean a change of how I have things configured. So, uh, because I can't think of anything that's better to use, I am going to get power teleport pipes. Ow. So, one bucket of lava. Let's just turn these off for now. Second bucket of lava. Now these are ready to the point where they will start as soon as they get the signal to start. But they're not actually putting their power into anything, so it's likely to be very dangerous for them. Uh, you need three redstone, two gold, one glass. I'm going to just hide somewhere safe while I build this. probably guess I'm building golden power pipes and these three golden power pipes are going to connect to a power teleport pipe once I get my stuff together. To be honest I don't actually know how to build them so this is going to be interesting for me. I've spent a lot of time not making teleport pipes. Okay item teleport pipe two diamond gears and glass. Actually that's a bit easier than I thought it would be. So let's go missing nine iron. Okay. 
easy done. There we have lots of iron now. I'm going to count nuggets as that. So take two, we want two of you and one of you. Come on. Zip, 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 zip. See so stuff chucking around everywhere. There's one. Blammo. I love this system. So now we have four power teleport pipes. Gonna place one just there. So we want this one on. We want to set the frequency to be one. Can receive true. And we want to call it power system. And then if we come over here, we should be able to knock that off. Place one just actually. I don't think I need wood. So we'll place one just there and see how it goes. We will click on it without using something else. And we will set you to power system, can receive true. And then once power is pumping through my system, we should be looking sweet. So again, we want to go power system, can receive true. Now we need is some power. So let's start these two up. They're heating up, heating up. And now they're pumping. We can see power going out. Now we have a constant stream of power coming in. Prepare to make a farm. I haven't even lit my third one up yet. So, back down into the depths. One more. So, I mean, I do understand that there's going to be a couple of losses here and there in the way the system works. Obviously, there is very little you can do about being some losses but currently I am producing 15 megajoules per tick for whatever would like to use them and these ones here are obviously not going to use support fell in a hole zombie Come on, zombie. So what I'm hoping will happen now is this machine here has no hummus. Why do you have no hummus? Okay, so there's some reason that's not connected correctly to the network. Maybe it has to go on the top. I was sure that going in the side worked just fine. So that should be working. Hey, Mr. Creeper. That is not how I wanted to do this, so I'm going to sleep the night away, and I'm going to sleep the night away over here. And then hopefully Mr. Creeper will despawn by the time I come back. Wow, I can't believe this has been another almost hour long episode. 
Time just goes so fast when you're having fun. Yeah, so if I tell you to get hummus, that works. If I tell you to give me 20 of those, that works as well, doesn't it? Something is not working the way that it should over here. Looks like it must have had to have sat on top. Hopefully the hummus will come zipping along. Okay, there's no hummus coming along. That's of concern to me. Oh, wait, there it is. It's like a big long snake of hummus. Machine, do your thing. So now it should start replenishing itself as more is coming along. Keep making hummus. How are we doing for dirt? I'm going to be using a lot of dirt, yeah. Thought that might be the case. Um, blocks. what I want to make. I know there must have been something I wanted to make. How are we doing for... Oh, almost out of redstone. Let's make more redstone. What an excellent idea. So I should have lots of dirt. Got lots of wheat. So I'll throw some more wheat back in over here. I mean, it's a net win system. Overall, this system will now take care of itself. It will produce fuel faster than it's using it. It'll produce wood. Well, actually, it'll produce a lot of wood. So how are we doing for wood? Look at that. Like, I've got multiple stacks of wood already. So if I ever need anything, I can just throw some wood in there. And you can see wood just turns into redstone. Everything just turns into everything else so quickly. And then look at that just pumping out the power just like it's a constant flow of power now as fast as it can make power it can produce it I wonder why you work to keep stock that way hmm. I don't even know it doesn't matter the important thing is I have achieved what I wanted to achieve, which is I now have a power generation system that's producing as much power as three combustion engines. I've got all the food I could probably ever need, all the wood I could probably ever need. I've got uh, a constant supply of fuel for anything that I ever need fuel for. I mean, let's be honest, this is the start of bigger things to come. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm actually having a lot of trouble with my internet at home at the moment, so um, that's why I've been recording some long episodes, and I've actually finished recording this one before the last one's uploaded, because it got about halfway through and my internet dropped out on me. So. It's not exactly going the way that I would want it to, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. A stocky out.